What's going on, crypto friends? For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today, guys, I am going to be talking about five different altcoins that could eventually explode in the Algorand ecosystem in the long term. And towards the end of the video, I will be taking a look at some pricing data for these coins as well. Now, I should also mention real quick that one of these coins actually isn't a coin. It is a project built on the Algorand ecosystem or in the Algorand ecosystem, but it's not an actual altcoin. But you'll see why I'm adding it to this list and later on in the video. But for those of you who are new to the channel, if you are interested in trading and would like to trade on the same exchange that I use, feel free to go ahead and try out the Mexi Crypto Exchange. You can find a link to it in the description below this video. I personally love this exchange because one, they do not deal with all the bullshit drama that all of the other big mainstream exchanges deal with on a regular basis. In addition to that, they allow me to trade crypto futures. And since I'm a huge altcoin nerd, they've got all kinds of different altcoins for me to buy before a bull market. So that is the main reason why I love using the Mexi crypto exchange, you guys. So before we actually dive into these coins, for those of you who need a small recap on, you know, what Algorand actually is, it's basically an autonomous decentralized blockchain network um, that offers a pretty wide range of secure, efficient, and scalable applications. Um, and what, you know, what's great about these Algorand projects is that many of them have not taken off yet. In fact, many projects on a lot of smaller e ecosystems haven't taken off yet either. So guys, the very first Algorand ecosystem project that I want to talk about here is going to be IDEX, all right, which is pretty much a decentralized exchange with elements of a centralized exchange that, you know, pretty much makes the network faster. In addition, IDEX uses order books to initiate and, and execute exchanges of supported cryptocurrencies. So now you're probably wondering how IDEX is actually using Algorand because that's kind of the big question here because there's a lot of people out there that kind of think that, you know, is IDEX really using Algorand or anything? But they really are, okay? So it's honestly the biggest question that I have, that I get. So here's what I figured out, all right? IDEX is pretty much leveraging the Algorand platform um, so that it can pretty much develop a solution with, you know, full finality tokenization of assets and programmatic transfer at, you know, the layer one uh, level as well. In addition, you guys, Algorand's forthcoming innovative and uh, high performance primitives offer IDEX the opportunity to literally offload smart contract complexities onto the Algorand platform's native features as well. Overall here, you guys, IDEX stands to gain invaluable benefits from Algorand's overall core offerings. So, the next Algorand ecosystem coin that I want to briefly talk about here is going to be called Planet Watch, all right? Now, this one's honestly pretty, pretty interesting. It's a pretty cool project that's actually being used in the real world today. But anyway, Planet Watch launched in 2020, oh, gosh, slur my words here. They launched in 2021 and is an air quality monitoring network that rewards users with its utility token for submitting valid data from sensors that are that users install and manage themselves. Now, the cool thing here is the incentives are designed to engage local communities to help deploy and manage sensors so that air quality can be monitored at all times, all right? And in this day and age where, you know, the world is becoming more and more polluted on a daily basis, literally, um, this is definitely not a bad idea whatsoever, to be honest with you. Lastly, another cool thing about this project is that they use NFTs to assign ownership of these, you know, to these uh, air quality sensors, which overall helps to prevent theft as well. So that's kind of cool also. And users are licensed to receive rewards for their sensors and tokens are sent directly to their wallets of NFT owners as well. So overall here, you guys, Planet Watch is a pretty darn cool project, if you ask me, especially since I'm a huge fan of, you know, projects, um, altcoin projects that, you know, can be used in the real world today. I'm talking real world. I'm not talking about on the computer. I'm talking about real world right here, right now. Okay. So guys, now the next project I'm going to move on to here that I've got for you guys is none other than Meld Gold. Okay. Now this is the project I was talking about with that does not have an actual native native token. Um, but what's cool about Meld Gold is that it streamlines the gold supply chain and it makes gold investments accessible for every single investor, which is pretty darn cool. So how are they utilizing Algorand? Well, 
Meld Gold is leveraging Algorand's advanced protocol to deliver gold that is traceable, fungible, transactable, transferable, and redeemable, all right? In addition, by leveraging the Algorand standard asset core functionality, Meld will tokenize digital gold in the form of Meld digital gold certificates. Now, these tokens, which are equal in value to one gram of physical gold, will be supported by the Algorand wallet as well, which will allow holders of digital gold to monitor the value of their assets, you know, and transact with other wallets in a quick and secure way as well. Now, before I move on to the next coin, I should note here that Meld Gold does not have a token like I was mentioning earlier, okay? Um, instead, it just has tokens used as a placeholder for physical gold, and I included it in this video due to the simple fact that physical gold has been rising in price in the last few years and could rise even more as fiat dollars, you know, decrease in overall value. So as you guys can see here, they do have, you know, obviously their uh, redeemable tokens for or actual physical metals, okay? I mean, we got gold, we got silver, we got platinum, and we got palladium. I think that's what that's called. Yeah, palladium. Um, so that overall, they've got these four tokens, but you're not going to find them on coin market cap or anything like that, okay? Um, they are just redeemable tokens for actual, you know, to back actual metals, okay? So guys, the next project that I'm going to move on to on to here in the Algorand ecosystem is going to be called Yieldly, okay? Now there's a lot of people who there's a lot of people who have a diff, a lot of different opinions about this project, but what's cool about Yieldly is that it's the very first and largest DeFi protocol on Algorand, okay? And their multi-audited smart contracts deliver liquidity mining, no loss prize games, multi-asset staking and cross-chain swapping all in one platform, so that's pretty nice. So in a sense here, you guys, it's basically an all-in-one DeFi platform for the Algorand ecosystem, or wants to be in a, you know, in the grand scheme of things. Now, another cool thing about Yieldly is that their products leverage Algorand's blockchain to allow users to enjoy the benefits of staking, lending, swapping, and much more, all right? All without the high cost, you know, or lag times associated with other protocols. Overall, you guys, this project is one of my all-time favorites built on Algorand, and it you know, truly stands a chance to do pretty darn good in the long term, in my personal opinion, as long as the developers stay on top of things and their marketing efforts are engaging with the community as well, because that's extremely important, okay? So guys, the very, now we'll move on to the last project that I've got for you for this video, which is none other than Orion Protocol, okay? And for those of you who aren't familiar, Orion Protocol pretty much solves some of the largest issues in DeFi by aggregating the liquidity of the entire crypto market into one decentralized platform, which is pretty darn nice, all right? Overall, there's really not much else to say about Orion Protocol on a base layer or a base layer level other than it acts as a single point of access to the crypto market. And I personally expect this project to grow quite a bit in the absolute long term, especially as you know the crypto market gains more exposure and gains more momentum throughout the upcoming years. All right. So now that we've talked a little bit about all of these kick-ass algorithm uh algor ugh. Algorand projects, let's take a look at some pricing data and, you know, let's see how high these, you know, coins could potentially go in the long term, all right? Now, obviously, I am not a magician, so I can't tell you exact numbers of where they could potentially go. Um, we can only base it off of speculative data and data that, you know, has, you know, histor you know historical data as well. Now, here's the thing, all right? I don't look at scam pumps like this. I mean, you guys can clearly tell this was a clear straight shot scam pump right here um, in this last previous bull market for IDEX. Um, I would not count this peak personally. Um, I'm not going to count it whatsoever. I'm actually going to count, you know, probably right around here as the all time high, even though the, you know, realistically the all time high is up here. Um, I'm only going to count it as, you know, right into this level. The reason why is because I'm a realistic investor and I don't invest based on hype, okay? I, I, I invest based on reality, okay? And realistically, I mean, you can clearly see this was a clear as day scam pump right up here, okay? Um, so realistically, I'm counting this as the all-time high here, all right? So realistically, we can clearly see that it went up, you know, to 40 cents, which, you know, from where it's at right now, you know, we're at four cents right now, pretty much here. Let me grab, grab my calculator real quick. 
Um, we are at 40 cents, right? Or sorry, we are at three cents. Ugh, four cents right now. So if we take 40 cents, we divide it by, you know, 0 0.04 cents, you know, it has the potential to easily go, uh, you know, 10x to reach its, you know, potential all time high right here. Now, if it did go to heights of, you know, 68 cents, 70 cents or whatever, again, at some point in time, that's obviously even higher, you guys. So if we, obviously, if we take, you know, 70 cents and divide it by 0.04 cents, you know, that's pretty much like a good 17 and a half, 15, you know, 15 X, 15 X that it could potentially do in the long term grand scheme future, you guys. Now, it can go higher, obviously, any coin can go any, you know, as high as it wants, obviously. But in a realistic perspective, we can fully expect it to reach at least levels of, you know, 40 cents at some point in time in the long term, you guys, all right. So next up, we've got Planet Watch. Okay, now Planet Watch. Here's the thing: Planet Watch isn't one of those projects that's looked at by a lot of people, um, but it, it, and it is a utility project that's used in the real world. And as we all know, a lot of utility projects that are used in the real world they don't really take off for some odd reason. They just don't take off, and I think the main reason why is because they're not hype projects. Okay, people don't seem to like, you know, the broad, the, the overall public does not seem to like real world utility projects. They seem to only like hype projects for some odd reason. Um, but realistically, we can see here, price data only goes back until September of 2021. So there's really not much data here to go off of. But we can clearly see that it started off high and it's slowly just gone straight down and has been like trending straight across, you know, ever since. Okay. But that does not mean it can't go high again at some point in time in the long term. Obviously, they entered and they launched, you know, back in the previous bull market, and they made an all time high of roughly right around as you can see here, like 47 cents or something like that. Realistically, in the long term grand scheme of things, um, I personally think it could go to these levels at some point in time. Okay, so the net, whether it's the next bull market or the bull market after that, realistically, you can fully expect prices to go up to at least 18 cents at some point in time in the long term future, you guys. So if we take, you know, 0.18 cents and divide that by where it's at right now, 0 0.0037, you know, we're talking about a good 48, a good 40 to 50 X gain right there. So if it does go back up to these levels of, you know, 18 cents, again, that's a solid 15, you know, that's a solid, you know, 40 to 50 X gain right there, you guys. So keep that in mind. All right. Now, the next one is Meld Gold. Obviously, I was telling you guys about that. They do not have a native token, um, but the reason why I added it was because gold and other metals, you know, have been increasing a lot more in the past few years, um, which is overall why I decided to include it in this video. Because, you know, if you are investing, if you are, you know, curious about investing into um, digital metals or, you know, metals with that are backed or sorry, a coin that is backed by actual real gold or silver or platinum or palladium or however you pronounce that, um, you know, you can go ahead and do that. Okay. So the next one I've got for you is Yieldly. All right. Now, Yieldly, we can clearly take a look. This one obviously launched, you know, right around, you know, kind of in kind of in the midst of, you know, the last bull market as well. And you can clearly see here that it reached heights of like two, uh, two, almost three cents right there. Okay. So we can fully expect it to do at least, you know, 50% of that, at least you guys, again, I'm a conservative investor. I don't operate on hype. I operate on reality. Okay. Realistically, we can fully expect it to reach around half of those levels of, you know, probably right around, you know, one and a half cents or so. Okay. So realistically, if it did do that long term, that would be a pretty big gain. So if we take 15 cents, or sorry, not 15 cents, one and a half cents, whoops, that's 15 cents, 0 0.015. And we go ahead and divide it by its current price of 0 0.00014 then we get a solid 100x gain, you guys, okay? So realistically, if it reaches those levels again, right around here, you're going to have an easily easy 100x gain in the long term. And you guys can clearly see that this is a very small market cap project as well. So if the Algorand ecosystem ends up doing good, the projects like this, especially a DeFi protocol on Algorand could potentially rise to insane amounts, insane amounts in the long term future as well, you guys.
Now, Orion Protocol is one of those projects that has a fairly decent market cap already. It's got a lot of people who are interested in this project, and this project has really gained some attention in the last few years as well. So let's check out pricing data. This one's been around since, let's see here, we've got July of 2020. It's got an all-time high here of roughly around $26, which is pretty fairly, you know, fairly fairly good. Um, so halfway around there would probably, you know, I could probably see it reaching these levels at some point in time, again, on a conservative level, you guys, okay, on a conservative level, if it reached prices of like $15 again, at some point in time, you know, that's going to be a solid, right, like 20x gain from where we're at right now. So if we take that, let's check this out real quick. If we take $15, and we divide it by, let's see here, 80 cents, 0.80, yeah, that's like a solid 15 to 20 X gain right there, you guys. So in the long term grand scheme of things, you can fully expect on a minimum level, okay, minimum level um, that you can expect a good solid, you know, 15 to 20 X gain. Now, again, a lot of you people that watch my videos, you get kind of confused about what I'm talking about here with long term investing, okay. I'm not saying that it will only go as high as 15 or $15. Okay, I'm saying on a minimum level. And that is the key thing here, minimum level, okay, meaning maximum, it could go a lot higher, okay, but on a minimum conservative level, definitely 15 bucks for sure. Okay. So overall here, you guys, I've covered a some very solid coins in the Algorand ecosystem. If you have any questions or concerns about them, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. I love talking to people. I love helping people out. But overall here, you guys, that's going to pretty much do it for this video. So I will go ahead and wrap this one up. But again, guys, before you guys leave, go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a regular basis. And hey, guys, with that said, thanks again for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the comment section down below of my future videos.